we've come up with the Adi Yogi. It took me two and a half years to design this face. We created dozens and dozens of faces and forms. I somehow could not agree. Every time I describe something, our IT team works on it and comes up with this, then I don't like the nose, I don't like the ears, I don't like this, I don't like that. And it went on for two and a half years. We came up with many dozens of images. Finally, we arrived at the image somehow. I thought this represents what we are looking at as Adiyogi. And uh, now we built one twenty-one feet tall and uh, he's sitting in America, in Tennessee, the Tennessee ashram. And uh, <clears throat> we are in the process of building one which is hundred and twelve feet tall, just the face. It's, a, it's going to be the largest face on the planet, just the face. Uh, <clears throat> one is coming up near the ashram, we want to put these four corners of the country. <laughs> so I'm thinking east means we'll put it up in Varanasi, north means somewhere north of Delhi, west means we are… we were thinking of Rajasthan, but again, it's too far out in the desert, so west means now we're thinking Mumbai. <laughs> so, uh, this is going to be an iconic presence for the city. The one that we place in the ashram is in a remote place, but we want him there. So he's… Uh, nobody can create an Adiyogi for sure, but he largely, this image beginning to represent that, it kind of gelled with my mind. So he has a certain presence and uh, we've also created one foot tall ones and six inches ones, nine inches ones, all kinds, but we want hundred and twelve feet tall ones come because he gave one hundred and twelve ways in which a human being can attain to his ultimate nature. Because he created hundred and twelve ways, we thought as an acknowledgement for providing us one hundred and twelve ways through which we can know still being in the body. He also mentioned this when Parvati challenged him, why can't there be more and they went through that whole drama. Then he said, hundred and twelve ways if you are rooted in the body. If you are not rooted in the body, then as many atoms there are in the cosmos, that many ways are there. <laughs> so, even if you are rooted in the body, one hundred and twelve ways, so we thought, we cannot build something as many atoms in the universe. So hundred and twelve ways, for those who are rooted in the body, he provided hundred and twelve ways to attain ultimate nature. So hundred and twelve foot tall Adiyogi will come up. I think uh, we, these… these temples are not pure worshipping temples, these are sadhana temples. So, uh, if people come, they can learn a three-minute yoga, ten-minute yoga, twenty-minute yoga, thirty-minute yoga, whatever. If they come to the temple, there is a way to learn something for your inner well-being. This is the fundamental shift that we want to bring about. That is, for human well-being, instead of looking up, you turn inward. This shift needs to happen in the world. As long as they're looking up, there's going to be a fight on the planet. My God versus your God struggle will never go. Only if people start seeing my well-being has to be addressed means I have to turn inward. If this awareness and this consciousness spreads, only then you will see a different kind of humanity, a different kind of world where people will function in an entirely different way. So we want to use this event that's coming up now on twenty-first of June, which is declared the International Yoga Day, where hundred and seventy-seven nations have endorsed this for the first time. In United Nations, no resolution ever in the history of United Nations got the support of one hundred and seventy-seven nations, <laughs> International Yoga Day. So, International Yoga Day got this kind of support and this has been something that we've been working for, that the leadership in the world 
should begin to speak the spiritual possibility and the benefits of turning inward. And for the first time, a head of a major nation is going out in the committee of nations. In the United Nations, our Prime Minister spoke about the importance and the significance of yoga. When he's in conversation with uh, the President of United States, seven minutes of the conversation was about yoga. Two minutes of the UN speech was about yoga. Never before such things have happened. What this means is, the significance of life is shifting from heaven to inner nature. Those who think their well-being is in heaven must proceed. <laughs>